welcome back, it's Tara and I had to put out this tutorial for you guys. There were so many requests in my university recap vlog part one about this look and I thought that I would put together a short concise tutorial for you guys. It only uses two shadows, no eyeliner, really fuss free and a really nice kind of heavier everyday smoky eye. So if you want to see the products that I use and the techniques that I use to achieve this really simple everyday look, please keep watching and I'll see you at the end of the video. Bye! I've already applied my foundation which is Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum. If you want to know how I apply it, then I will leave the link down below for that full kind of foundation routine. But to contour my face and sort of give it a bronzed look, I'm using MAC Studio Sculpt Foundation in, I believe, NW35 for really warm all over bronzing. I'll also be taking this down to my neck around kind of the areas that I want to contour on my face and of course bronze. So around my temples, kind of on the tops of my cheeks, a little bit in the contour in my cheekbone, on the tip of my chin, the insides of my nose and also down my neck because of the all over bronzing, it's gonna give my face a slightly darker appearance. So I gotta match that up with my body and neck. So with this um, Real Techniques buffing brush, I'm just buffing that all in, sort of, there's no really rhythm or rhyme to this, you can just sort of buff it in or press it into the skin in whatever direction you think is right and I'm just really pushing it into the skin really well so that it looks as much like skin as possible and I don't know even by itself without any more contour it just gives a really nice bronzed and sculpted effect without being harsh in any way or powdery looking because of course it is a very nice gel based foundation. Now to really make those eyeballs pop and look super awake, I'm using the Shiseido White um, Waterline Pencil or Eye Pencil. This isn't my favourite one but it's the only one I have on hand with me at home and I'm just really focusing it on the inner tear ducts just to really brighten up the whites of the eye and as you can see I'm not taking to it very well. I don't wear things in my waterline very often anymore but next up we're going to be using the shade Underground. This one is just from an old Urban Decay palette that I've sort of been looking through since I got back home and using up all my old palettes but I'm just using a flat shader brush to take the shade underground all over my lid and also just above the crease keeping it nice and round and just above that little kind of crease line that we have. You're going to find underground in a lot of your naked palettes it's just kind of a warm taupe colour and with a pencil brush I'm also taking it under the eye again keeping the look very rounded no cat eyed kind of points or anything like that and now I'm using twice baked again another dark kind of slightly more matte brown that you will find in a lot of your palettes as well. I'm sure everyone has a colour similar to this and I'm just panning it on the outer corner kind of blending it into the centre of the eye a little bit and also up halfway into the crease as well. Looks a bit messy right now but we're going to take it under the eye as well with the same pencil brush about two of the thirds of the way in or halfway in just to blend it all out so you get this nice smoked out effect and then you can wipe away any excess and with any sort of blending brush that you have we're going to make it lovely and soft and with your blending brush we're really going to push that colour into the crease and kind of up and out so that it kind of goes slightly more over the crease exactly where you put that first colour just to make it a little bit more dramatic and just very soft and smoked out with any harsh edges. I'm curling my lashes with my favourite eyelash curler, it's Tweezerman and then with my favourite mascara, Shiseido Mascara Perfect, oh, Perfect Mascara Defining Volume from Shiseido, I am giving my lashes a nice plush coat of mascara, actually two coats just because I like two coats of this. I find the first one gives nice length and then the second one gives a good bit of volume and also putting it on my bottom lashes. So this is what your two eyes should look like when you're done and I'm now taking Sleek's contour kit in light. I don't know if they still sell this exact one but I absolutely love the highlighter. It's one of my favourites. I find it really hard for highlighters to show up on my skin. This one is amazing. I love it so I'm just taking it on sort of the apples of my cheeks. I'm sort of liking that look at the moment, the kind of over the top highlighter look. And also on my forehead, my nose and my cupid's bow and a little bit on the apple of my chin too. <laughs> 
Now with that gorgeous contour colour, we're going to pop a little tiny smidge of that softly with a big Real Techniques blush brush into my contours of my cheekbones ever so slightly. We just want to define it a little bit more without being too harsh. I'm also going to push a little bit into the tips of my nose to define my nose a little bit more and just kind of use whatever excess on your face and your neck just to kind of define your collarbones or your decolletage or whatever you want to call it and finish off the look with some finishing touches like some clear mascara or eyebrow gel and um, I like my brows big and fierce so that's what I'm going for today and lastly we got lip liner this is number seven's nude lip liner I believe it's 002 I absolutely love it it's like my exact lip color and it just fills out any kind of I don't know kind of non-defined edges I guess I absolutely love it it's super creamy and then on top of that I'm laying my favorite gloss or pretty much the only gloss I have really it's Clarins instant lip perfector in 002 which is a nice peachy pink color to add a little bit of gloss to my lips and make them look a little bigger I really hope you enjoy that one guys. I had a lot of fun filming it and I really wanted to get it out there quickly before I forgot to do it for you guys. Please give it a like slash thumbs up or even a favourite if you're feeling super nice. Really helps my channel out and of course subscribe if you want to see more of this goodness from myself and of course all my other fashion and life and beauty bits. Don't forget to leave those comments down below. I'd love to know what you thought of this look and whether you want to see more tutorials from me. I'm at home at the moment so I have quite a lot of time to do makeup tutorials so any requests would be greatly appreciated. As always guys, hope you have a lovely day and I'll see you in my next video.